So for a couple decades, in a lot of ways, the city of Chicago was getting better, and that's a blessing because it's a great city. And then in the past several years, it's really been in decline. And if you don't know people who fled Chicago, you'll meet them. And the main cause of that decline and the reason people are running away from Chicago is violent crime. And there's a reason for that. It's obvious. And it's the mayor, Lori Lightfoot. She did that. And she's refused to take any responsibility for doing it. She won't even answer questions about it. But one journalist in the city of show, there aren't many left, a radio show host called William Kelly, was not deterred. So he asked a couple of simple questions of Lori Lightfoot. Here he was last week. Across the street, we had a police officer on duty, the victim of a hit and run. We have Michigan Avenue, the magnificent miles now referred to as the mile of fear. The water tower place has thrown the keys back to the lender. They say they don't want to be in Chicago anymore. Real Chicagoans are asking me, how could you possibly even consider running for re-election as mayor of the city of Chicago after all the harm you've caused? Well, I disagree with you fundamentally. Um, and I don't think I need to address any and dignify your comments one second further. Next question. Not one second further. Right. Last month, Kelly confronted Lightfoot on the increase in carjackings in Chicago, and she had essentially the same response, but then she attacked him. Watch. The data speaks for itself. The data. And on all of the, all of the measure, measures that you just talked about, homicide shootings, carjackings, down this year, sir. Sorry to disappoint you. But that 178% is in increase in carjackings, violent carjackings in downtown no, Chicago. You are, sir, carjackings in our city. Millennium are Park. Down, God, okay. you, are, you are one of the rudest people I've ever seen. You really are. I am? Yeah, yeah you are, sir. Okay. I, I would think that carjackers would be the rudest people. Well, no, you're rude in this room. <laughs> By the way, Lori Lightfoot at one point said she wasn't going to talk to any white journalists because she's an open racist in addition to everything else. But William Kelly, as we said, is not deterred. He's a radio host in Chicago, one of the very few journalists left there. He joins us tonight. Mr. Kelly, thanks so much for coming on. You are not, in you're, you are not intimidated. It's great to be with you, Tucker. Thank you. And Thank I you. think Mayor Lightfoot is hoping to change some of those answers tonight now. Well, so it's, it's your response was the most telling of all. She said, you're one of the rudest people I've ever met. And you said, well, I think the carjackers are ruder than I am. But I got the feeling she right. dislikes you more than the carjackers. I think you'd be right about that, Tucker. For the last two years, Mayor Lori Lightfoot could just say, crime is down, the economy's fine, just close your businesses, shut down the church, and don't go to school, and everything's going to be fine. Obey me. And the Chicago media just accepted this. And then I started going to her press conferences and asking actual questions, and all hell broke loose. But I don't understand. I mean, Chicago, it's the home of Mike Royko and City News Service. You had one of the most robust media markets, its own ecosystem, for like over 100 years. Where did it go? Well, that's the Chicago I grew up in. I was born and raised in Chicago. I love Chicago with all of my heart. Yeah. I take this personally, Tucker, and, you know, I have to say that when I, you know, when I was growing up, I was raised to believe that Chicago was the greatest city in the history of the world and that the mayor yeah. was the most important job in the world. So if somebody had told me when I was a kid that I'd be taking on the mayor of Chicago, I would have thought th that something had gone horribly wrong. <laughs> you know, it's not the typical career path for an Irish Catholic from the south side. But, you know, I take this personally, and I hear politicians on the national level saying that we need to worry about the city of Kiev. I was raised to believe that we need to take care of our own house before we worry about Kiev or Moscow or anywhere else. So, you know, I, you know, I, just last week, Tucker, okay, I'm not even talking about, you know, the weekend, the typical 40-plus shootings, a dozen-plus fatalities. Last weekend, four women's bodies were pulled out of the Chicago River, okay? If four women's bodies were pulled out of the Kiev River, I guarantee you that would be worldwide news, okay? Yeah. In Chicago, yeah. it's not even a one-day story. If I were the mayor of the city of Chicago, I would want to know why were four women's bodies pulled out of the Chicago River? How did they get in the river? Who are these people? I would get in my car and I would drive to their houses. I'd knock on the <laughs> door. I'd say, what was your sister or your girlfriend's or your, you know, your daughter's body doing in the Chicago River? Is there anything I can do to help? This is a problem. What can I do to help you? Yeah. The mayor of the city of Chicago doesn't seem to care at all, Tucker. Well, she doesn't care.
and it's obvious with every word that she utters. And uh, it just bless you for what you're doing. I, I think your persistence, your journalism highlights the, the evil that's, that's overtaken. Anyway, I appreciate your coming on tonight and for what you do. William Kelly. Thanks. I'll be on uh, the city council meeting on Wednesday. If there's any question that you'd like me to ask the mayor, Tucker. You're yeah, like, what the hell would be a good place to start, I think. Thank you. Good to see you. I'll do it. <laughs> Amen.